Hello, it's Sarah. I'm back. I have art mail today. Uh, mail art, either way. Um, I'm finding it fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm finally enjoying it. I was frustrated a little bit. I was challenged. Uh, I think mixed media challenges me. I feel like it's a little chaotic at times. I, I need, I like to have, like even with ATCs and stuff, um, the kits, they really help me because then it has all your supplies are right there and you just kind of go with what you have. I don't know. I think that's why with the decorative painting too, I love that because it was someone else's pattern, someone else's colors. They told you everything to do. I just had to know the techniques. And so that's how I like to create, making mini albums. I can do that because there's a, a way to do it, you know? Um, so mixed media, it's just challenging for me. There are so many mediums in mixed media. You can use sprays and inks and, um, you know, it's endless, really, what you can use. Um, for mail art, I think you tend to really try to keep it as flat as you can. Like, you don't want to be too three-dimensional. That's what I'm thinking because I think I would like people to be able to use these. Um, I did end up getting into that swap at Art and & Sassy, and the theme was the beach theme. It wasn't summer, it was the beach. So um, I found these um, embellishments that I've had forever. These are just like, um, cut. they're not like even, what is it, it's not chipboard. It's just like a, a nice sturdy um, pop out thing here. And so I found these and they got me thinking. I just, I don't know, I, it was easier than stamping out a bunch of things and fussy cutting them out. So I use the butterflies and I use these shells and then I also have some um, fall leaves that I'm going to use too. I might use my kiddos. I have some leaf kiddos. I might, I don't know, incorporate them into the um, piece too. But let me just talk about what I ended up with. Uh, what I ended up with, my process is going to be um, to get the color on here. I basically went from spraying it directly on here with the sprays to painting it directly on and spraying the paper, which really saturates the envelope. Um, then I started gessoing the envelope first, and that I like. That I will continue to do. These are not gessoed, um, and I think the sprays are probably fine for that, but once you start putting a bunch of water, and I use matte medium, I use gesso, um, and I mean, they feel kind of thicker too after you've finished, so that's kind of nice. So um, I will gesso my envelope first, and then I ended up putting color on my craft mat. I put, I was really into this, these two colors are the Tim Holtz um, Distress Paints. Uh, broken China and Spun Sugar. I was losing the Spun Sugar, the Broken China would take over. So then I started hitting it with the Delusions pink, and then that took over. You'll see like this one, I hit it with the Delusions, and the pink took over. So just getting the hang of that in and itself isn't, you know, it, you have to just be free to let it be whatever. So after a while, I just started putting, I had like five ready to go. I just sewed like five different ones. Like this is a background that I did, and it ended up getting stuck this the um, flap stuck down so I like tried to get it up and it ripped so I haven't done it but I'll, I'll probably use it I think I'll just put something in it tape it closed and send it to someone um, but anyway this one I liked a lot um, because it really I I told you I was losing the pink so I went real pink on this one but then it was and then after I did some of the other ones there was a mess on my well what was left there and I just blotted that up and I just love the result so I think that's kind of fun and you have to be willing to just play with it and let it be whatever it is. So that's the background. Then with this one, because it was um, kind of beach, the beachy theme and water I was thinking, I found I didn't really have any swirly things besides that one um, stencil. And I didn't feel like doing a stencil, but this would have been perfect if I had a stamp like this. I would have stamped just random places all around, but I used my Tim Holtz I guess this is like from his grunge set or something, just the circles. I figured, whatever. It's just giving it movement. Put some of them in the background. I stamped some. These are my little um, 
mixed media stamps that I use. These are from Michaels and they're like $3.99 and you get a few of them but they're cheap enough and like I like this one's the script hearts I have this one is like little flowers that I use um, that's about it really for right now I have other ones but I, that's all I pulled for this project um, and then the hearts I was doing in um, white ink which it wouldn't dry I was getting really frustrated with this it's actually a is it a it's a pigment ink and it was taking so long to dry and then you were smudging it so for mixed media pigment ink not a good idea and those of you that do this stuff you probably know so I pulled all my stays on inks and I will probably get more of these because these are permanent inks I think that's it those are my only four colors I have red blue teal oh, I have yellow oh my gosh I totally have yellow I'm gonna have to find I have black brown and I'm pretty sure I have yellow I'm gonna have to find it I'm pretty sure anyway because that would be another great color for a background or for stamping or for I mean I don't know not for backgrounds I meant for stamping sorry I'm like this oh here it is yellow I know I had yellow um anyway these are good for mixed media because if you're doing layers you want the ink to be permanent and dry fast and not smudge so there's a lot of issues there's a lot of stuff involved um, if you're going to be putting medium over medium all right so then once I kind of got my stamping done and I tried to use different colors like I used the teal then I would hit it I hit no I actually did this last I put the perfect pearls blue on top after everything um, I spattered with white paint um, but after I got all my stamping done, I just washed it with white paint. Not um, A lot of people, when they do canvases and stuff, they use gesso. Just wash it with a white wash of gesso to just tone down the stamping. Which I did, like, like I think actually this one is a lot more toned down and I like this one better. This one you can still see a lot of the stamping is a lot more um, prominent because really it's just for texture and it's a layer and it's your background it's not the focal images it's not what you want to catch the eye so this one I think I toned it down a lot better and you can still see the background stamping and stuff and the color and then I just used these um, little seashells and I just placed them with my matte gel the gel matte medium um, and I might try Mod Podge too because I want to see what the feel is and how it um, holds up on the envelopes. Um, a lot of people don't like Mod Podge when they do mixed media um, and they really tend to use the gel mediums more. Um, I happen to have both so I might as well try them. And then I used my um, Faber-Castell Pit Pens. Uh, this one is the brown. I don't know if there's a color but it's India ink and once you've used a matte medium or you've sealed it see look that little seat uh, that's coming up um, anyway once you've sealed it with the matte medium you can shade around things so I went around each thing and shaded it and just smudged it with my finger this is a label these are labels that I found in my stash that I've had forever and I was so glad because at first I was just um, tracing Remember I traced a dye and just colored it in that way, which is perfectly fine. And I actually did that. I traced um, a butterfly on this one, and that's where you would write your address in there, um, which works perfectly fine. Uh, but then I found these labels, and I just thought they were like the perfect size for this size envelope. And these are like nine and a quarter, sorry, seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. Yeah, seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. These are still the white envelopes that I'm working with that are the recollections of envelopes. So I put a label on for the address and then I spattered and I also used my handy dandy Scarlet Lime, which is Christy Tomlinson's shop, um, and went around everything for the to give it to make it pop. And I really like it. I like to me, this is neat and orderly. It catches my eye. It's not too much going on. Sometimes there's just too much. The back, um, I kind of, I don't remember if I, because I was working on several at a time, 
I don't know if I went over my stamping with the white coat, the coat of white paint. I might have left it because on the back, I'm kind of just going to go with the snail mail stamp, which thank you, I found it at um, Michael's. It was in the Studio G for $1.50. And I was looking online for um, mail art stamps. And I just, I don't know, I wasn't finding exactly what I wanted. This is says classified which I thought was cute this was in the clearance bin like 222 or something it was so I'm using those two I'll put classified and snail mail and then that says like you can't really see it but it came with this like thumbs up too and I thought youtubers would get that and it says like but it kind of got blurred and I put one of those labels for a return address on the back so my back will kind of just be I think it will just tend to be these two stamps and maybe an emb one embellishment and the label for a return address. So I like, that's a nice process. So then I did this butterfly one. This is, this one came out, like I said, really pink. Um, you know, I'm still getting the hang, especially of the backgrounds because with mixed, like these mixed media with sprays and paints, sometimes it's not an exact science. It's really not. And if you're spraying it with water and you're dripping things, it really just, you know, but it just, I just wanted some color and then the stamping and then calm all the stamping down with a coat of uh, white paint and then put my focal images on. And then I wink a Stella at all the butterflies and spattered and did my shading around all the images and the line work. I put, I gave them little antennas and then back classified snail mail and just a couple I actually didn't embellish this one as much. I think I embellished, yeah, this one I embellished a little more on the back. But this one's the one with the um, butterfly um, tracing. So I feel like this is what I'm going for. So we'll see where I head now. Um, I do, I like the feel of these. I think they're going to be substantial. Like. The idea started with this one, and I, I don't like this one. I stopped because I started uh, going around everything with Sharpies, and I don't know. I was just like, no, that's not what I'm going for. This one was one of the very first ones I did. I had this cool stamp set, which I think I'll use it again. I'm going to try this again, but I want to mute everything down. I don't want it to be, I don't know. I kind of like it. I used washi tape on it. I might leave off this... Um, I did this big flourish in the background with um, uh, Perfect Pearls powder. I just stamped it with Versamark and did Perfect Pearls powder, which, I mean, I don't know. I guess if I'd have done that, my idea was that's the branches, and then I was going to put the flowers all around it. Like, put the snail mail stamp on the back. It just got too crowded because I was using the words on the front, too. I did some doodling. Like, I think I was just throwing everything at it. Like, I did everything in... With, you know, didn't hold anything back. On the back, I have washi tape, stamps. You know, it's just a lot going on. I mean, I, I was trying to use paint on my stamps, on my heart stamp, I was using paint. And it was just, things were like bleeding and blending and, you know, so I think it's just getting used to the mediums. And um, I am, I'm starting to. I mean, the, the more you play, the better it gets. So those are my two butterflies. Here's my two. So I, I told you I am in the beach. I did get into the beach trading, um, art mail trade swap, I should say. So I think these two are going to go because they're beachy. I'm going to redo the kiddos ones. I'm going to um, paint them. I'm going to do them more. Um, see, like this one. I didn't dull down the stamping enough. And so the, the butterflies are kind of all it mishmashed in there it's too much going on for me like it, it, nothing's prominent everything's kind of just all over the place I don't know somebody might like it but to me it just the back looks good the back looks back looks better because it's just four three fl four flowers you know it's calmer to me this is just I don't know I don't know I, I hope you understand what I'm saying um let me think what else do I have um this big one, this is the only other one I didn't show. Here it is. This was like the f second one I did. So this is coated with gesso. It's one of the bigger um, mail envelopes. It's like this kind that opens at the back. Um, and so I did. I just did a bunch of stamping. I put paint on the um, cap thing. 
and like made circles. I was just like mixed media crazy stamping and doing all kinds of things. Um, I don't think I toned it down with the gesso first, although I might have in some areas. Before I put my focal images on, I should have dulled it all down. Then you put your focal images on so they really pop. So um, I doodled around the edges. I added these because my when I stamped the image, the roses really didn't come out and they weren't looking right at all. So I just glued these on and I don't think you can probably send that in the mail now because um, there's machines. I'm going to have to find out. Like I don't know if you can put any dimensional things on your envelopes because these have to go through a machine or something. That's what I understand anyway. But I mean I don't hate it. I kind of, I've never I never used that stamp, so I was like, alright, I'm using this stamp. But um I think for focal images I will end up fussy cutting out. I'm liking I'm a collage girl, I've come to find out. Um I like collaging. Uh and that's another thing. I haven't tried um just collaging the background like with tissue tissue paper, this stuff and all that so that's a whole nother thing um, that you could do instead of stamping your background you could just put tissue paper color it and then glue your focal images on so I mean there's there's a lot um, I think I'll probably do a few more pieces have a couple more shares I have some swaps I'm gonna be doing some trades um, so I have to get them going and uh, but that's it sorry if it was a little long I kind of ramble about mixed media. <laughs> it gets me going. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.